My name is Barbara Felix. I'm an interdisciplinary artist, curator, and community arts leader. I work with drawing, painting, printmaking, collage, animation, and experimental video. And this is Una Platica. My inspiration to be an artist didn't come until later in my life. Um, I had a brother who was seven years older than me who was very gifted artistically, and I compared myself to him. And I didn't think that I was as good as him and that I could be an artist. It was years later when I was in college and I took my very first drawing class at San Antonio College. Uh, it was a figure drawing class that I uh, found my, my future in that class because I discovered that I actually could draw, and quite accurately. Uh, so then I, I was doing an interior design degree at the time, and I switched it to graphic design because I didn't know what to do with this new skill I had, but I definitely wanted to develop it, and I thought I could let other people tell me what to do, and then I could make their vision come to life. Uh, as I took more and more coursework, uh, went to galleries and museums, um, and saw the work the way my peers were working, um, I actually became more and more interested in art. And then I had this one classmate who was actually showing her work across the state of Texas. And she's really was the inspiration of me, for me, to pursue being an artist full-time. It's important for San Antonio to have organizations like Centro Cultura Atzlan, not only because it's a place for artists to um, show and sell their work, but also that work that artists are doing is often documenting our culture, our history, our legacy, and our perceptions in a particular moment in time. And it's also important to me, this organization is really important to me because I grew up in this neighborhood. And so it's really special to me to think that families, uh, families and children and artists and even students can come here and see themselves reflected in the images and themes presented in this space. I am of both Mexican-American and African-American descent. Uh, my work has sometimes touched on themes that are uh, socially or politically charged. Um, and some of that is just to figure out ways to under, to, to process my two cultures um, and to find my own space to live within those cultures through my artwork. Probably one of the most important things I want to do with my art is to uplift and inspire people, in particular women of color and women in general. I'm hoping that they, when they see the portraits of women that I paint, that they will find someone that they can imagine themselves through and use that as an inspiration to reach their highest potential. Being an artist is really hard work, but it's so worth it if it's your passion. And so my advice would be be true to yourself, follow your intuition, don't overcommit, uh, be engaged in the art community, join an art organization, um, 
network, network, network. <laughs> you never know where an opportunity to collaborate with someone might come. Uh, go to exhibitions, be inspired, uh, and then also apply to exhibitions, open calls for exhibitions. Develop a thick skin, that's your resilience muscle. Say yes to artist talks, um, even if you're nervous like me. The two works in this Mujeres de Aslan Persistent and Resilient exhibition are called uh, Danza Ecstatica, or Ecstatic Dance, and uh, La Paloma Negra, or The Black Dove. These are uh, reinterpretations of some earlier watercolor monotypes that I did um, that are actually self-portraits. Um, I film couple dancers uh, from TV shows, and I appropriate their bodies and put my face on both the men and the women. Um, this work, these new interpretations are cut paper collage with hand stitching. And the process of selecting the papers for the skin tones and the clothing, and then particularly the act of the hand stitching, um, kind of connect me to my roots of uh, sewing, learning to sew as a child, uh, which is a skill my mother taught me. And that practice makes me feel very close to her. Like I feel her presence when I'm doing that work. Some of the themes I explore in that work are sexuality, sensuality, um, and romance and mixed race love. As I am a person of both African-American and Mexican-American descent, my work is exploring concepts that love goes beyond skin color. <laughs>